So what we're going to practice now is making a 3D model house, just a simple one. So now that we all know the basic controls, go to hierarchy and click create, or you can right click in the hierarchy, go to 3D object, and then let's select plane for the ground. So by default, it's using the default material over here, which is white. So that happens for all 3D objects. All right, so we have we have our ground. Next thing we want to do is we want a just a simple foundation for the house. So let's create another object, 3D object, and then click cube. And there's our cube right here. Now by default, um, the cube is usually or the object is usually spawned where your camera is focused. Sometimes it's spawned in other areas, but most of the time it's on your focus point. Alright, so we got our cube. Now before anything, we should probably name our plane ground. And then we should name this cube for now. Let's just name it foundation. Now there are two ways we can met we can resize this. Like earlier, we can press R for scale or we can click the scale tool up here or we can press T for the rec tool. Let's just go ahead and use the scale tool for now. Since this is the foundation, we just gotta make it flat. And you can go ahead and resize the foundation to your liking. You don't necessarily have to follow this design, but it helps. All right, so that's our foundation. Another thing we should probably do in order to make sure everything is centered properly is select your select the object or select the ground go to transform and set the position for x y and z to zero 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 and do the exact same oh hang on and then do the same thing for the foundation Now that we've centered the foundation and the ground together, we get to make the walls. Now there are two ways to do this. So I could actually create another cube, name it wall, and then adjust it as needed, or to make it easier for myself and faster, I can click the foundation, press Control D to duplicate, and then drag it up, and then use the scale tool to make the wall. And of course, uh, I'd have to rename it as well. Renaming is optional, however, I recommend doing so so that you won't get confused with the type of game objects or 3D objects that you're selecting. Alright, so, by the way, when you're modifying or when you're adjusting the size of a certain object in a 3D world, it's definitely recommended to use the orbit tool a lot and to focus in on it so that you can see all the angles properly. Alright, so that looks good. What we need to do next is to position the wall on top of the foundation. In order to do this, we need to select the wall, and then make sure that the move tool is selected right here, and then hold down V to change the pivot point. By default, this will actually change the pivot point to whatever vertex is on the object. In this case, the vertex is actually the corners. By default, the pivot point is set to the middle of the game object. So let's go ahead and move the pivot point over here. Then click the corner, or the center of the pivot point. Click and hold, and you can drag this on top of this corner over here to snap it. Alright, that looks good. And the next thing you need to do you can go ahead and just duplicate and do the exact same thing. Alright, so the next thing is that we gotta make a wall over here. So let's go ahead and click one of the walls. And then Control D to duplicate again. And now we wanna turn this to the other side, or 90, 90 degrees. So we can actually do that in two ways. The easiest way is to type it here in the transform component 
So since we're turning it to the right, let's say let's set 90 degrees here to the Y axis, since Y is the center axis. And then we move it here. Now before we snap, we gotta resize it. The other way that you can actually move or rotate an object while snapping to the proper uh, degree switch to your rotate tool by pressing E and then hold the control button while holding the control button click and drag the axis of your rotation and it will completely snap to the standard or common values for rotation degrees alright so back to scaling so before we actually fit this in but you gotta scale it properly. So let's just scale it a bit so that it, it's at least... It doesn't have to be perfect right now. You At this point you can also use the rec tool. Oh wait, sorry. You can also use the rec tool to resize the entire object. This usually applies to cube objects, such as these uh, these walls. And then at this point, you can try to snap it. You can continue using the rec tool after snapping as well. In this in these situations, it's better to use the rec tool to uh, resize your object. All right, so we got that. And then let's say this part is going to be the entrance so of course we're gonna to have to resize a bit more now depending on what you like you can actually place the door to the left or right but for me I like to put it to the left in this example Alright, so let's just leave it at that for now. Alright, so next, let's go ahead and try to make a roof. Okay, so for the roof, let's just make it a simple flat roof for the meantime. So to do that, click your foundation, and then hold down Control and D, or just press Control and D to duplicate. And then raise it up using the Y axis tool so that it's in the exact position we need it to be and then press R to scale it and to thin it out and expand it as the way you like alright and then we're just gonna make a few more things let's just add the edges just for detail you don't have to do this but let's just add the edges the same way we did it for the walls. The reason why I recommend using Unity 3D for game development is because it's very simple to learn eventually. Oh, hang on. As you get used to the, um, the interface, you'll start to learn more things as you keep going. And you shouldn't be afraid to push yourself to learn other things about Unity. Because this will definitely help you out in the future when you have to do this for your job. Right, so we got that. Let's just say, actually, to make it easier, uh, we can actually just uh, duplicate this and move it here. As you can see, I can actually 3D model a lot faster because I'm actually very used to the interface and 3D modeling in general. Oh, hang on, this thing's snapping. There you go.
All right, so that is the house that we have so far. So the next thing I'm going to teach you guys how to do is to add color and textures to all the game objects that we've just made.